I would like to call the town board meeting of May 23rd, 2023 to order. Please rise and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge I allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence to remember those who served our country in the past and for those who continue to protect our country today. Thank you. Please note the emergency exits are the door you came in and the door behind us. <coughs> no second. Okay, I would like to make a motion to open the uh, public hearing, the continuation for the public hearing, amending um, short-term rentals. I'll second. Town board um, vote, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. The meeting is now opened at? 7.02 p.m. 7.02. Okay. Do we have any written comments? No, no written. Okay, we have... One public comment. I'm just going to make a comment. We're going to open the public hearing. We're going to adjourn it for two weeks um, to give time to review the comments that came from county planning. They came a little bit late, so we're going to continue it to the next meeting. Uh, Bill? <coughs> the short term rent, because this is the public hearing. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Thanks, Bill. Okay. So we will close the public hearing. Uh, well, no, we're not going to close it. We're going to adjourn it until, um, let's see, uh, we're going to adjourn the short-term rental of, uh, here public hearing until June 7th at 7 p.m. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Now I will go over um, the agenda items. The first agenda item is our minutes. The second agenda item is a resolution concerning um, public and private fireworks display and storage. 
This local law is designed to address the many concerns that residents have shared on the commercial grade firework displays and storage that start uh, now around Memorial Day and go through the fall. Our concerns are for the health and safety of all our residents and we will have the public hearing on June 7th at um, 7.15 for that. The resolution number three is we're changing um, our meeting in June from June 6th to June 7th for various obligations there were conflicts. Uh, Resolution number four is uh, revising the town hall accessibility and improvements, capital projects. This included the ADA um, accommodations plus the roof. The number five is we're going out to bid for the highway roof project. We're addressing the needs of the town buildings and proceeding with overdue needed renovations. And this is one of our projects. Uh, resolution number six is approving the change order for Gardner Hollow Bridge project. It's referring to the guardrails that um, they needed to have some additional um, design in the guardrails from the initial. So we're looking to um, uh, do a change order on that. And then number seven is our payment of claims. And we can start. Okay. <coughs> Whereas Town Clerk Lorreen Evans Latuano has provided copies of the minutes of the May 9th, 2023 Town Board meeting to all members of the Beekman Town Board. And whereas Town Board members have had the opportunity to review such minutes, <coughs> now therefore be it resolved that the Town Board hereby accepts the minutes of the May 9th, 2023 Town Board meeting. I'll second. Okay, Town Board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Battellini? Aye. Councilman Lemack? Aye. Councilwoman Warming? Aye. Supervisor Cavucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Resolution number two, uh, the town board of the town of Beekman introduces the local law number five of the year 2023, chapter 80, public and private fireworks, display and storage, and provide notice of public hearing. Whereas the Town Board of the Town of Beekman is considering the adoption of Local Law Number 5 proposed of 2023 entitled Chapter 80, a local law regarding public and private fireworks display and storage. <coughs> now therefore be it resolved that the Town Board hereby introduces for consideration of its adoption Local Law Number 5 of 2023 entitled a local law regarding public and private fireworks display and storage in the form annexed hereto and be it further resolved the copies of the aforesaid proposed local law be laid upon the desk of each member of the board and be it further resolved that the town board shall hold a public hearing on said proposed local law at town hall 4 main street beekman new york at 7 15 on wednesday june 7 2023 and be it further resolved the town board hereby authorizes and directs the town clerk to post and to publish or cause to be published a public notice in the official newspaper of the town of Beekman of said he public hearing at least five days prior they are two attached and here within in the Poughkeepsie Journal on the bulletin board in the town clerk's office and on the home page of the town of Beekman website. I will second that. Town board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Battellini? Aye. Councilman Lunek? <coughs> Aye. Councilwoman Warman? Aye. Supervisor Cavucci? Aye. Resolution passes. <coughs> Resolution number three. Resolution of the Town Board of the Town of Beekman setting Town Board meeting dates for the month of June. Whereas the Town Board of Town of Beekman meets on the second and fourth Tuesdays of the month, and whereas the Town Board is serious of changing the meeting dates of the month of June 2023, now therefore be it resolved that the Town Board meeting for the month of June to be Wednesday, June 7th, 2023, and Tuesday, June 20th, 2023, at the regular time of 7 p.m. at the Town Hall, 4 Main Street, Polkwig, New York. I'll second. Town board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Battellini? Aye. Councilman Lehman? Aye. I'm sorry. Councilman Lemek? Aye. Councilwoman Warman? Aye. And Supervisor Kabuchi? Aye. Resolution passes. Sorry about that. Where is the town board of the town of Beekman? Resolution number 121521 12. Authorize the town hall accessibility improvements capital project for $1,215,713 
And whereas the town has reviewed the status of the capital project costs and funding sources and deems it appropriate to revise the authorization. <coughs> now therefore be it resolved that the current authorization of funding sources for the town hall accessibility improvement capital project to be $1,217,763 detailed as follows. County grant, $200,000. Surety funds, $215,713. Transfer in from general fund, $502,050. Bonds, $300,000. I'll second that. Town board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote. Councilman Benalini. Aye. Councilman Lemek. Aye. Councilman Warman. <coughs> Aye. Supervisor Gabucci. Aye. Resolution passes. Resolution number five, authorized to go out to bid for highway roof project. Whereas the town engineer has requested the town board authorize Michael R. Berta, AIA project ar architect, to release a request for bids package on or about May 31st, 2023, for the purpose of releasing bidding documents related to replacement of the highway building's roof project. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the town clerk is hereby authorized to seek bids for the replacement of the high building roofs and be further resolved that prior to publication, big doc bid documents are to be reviewed by the town engineer and the town attorney, and be further resolved that the request for bids shall be in accordance with the town of Beekman procurement policy. Now therefore be resolved that the town clerk is hereby authorized to advertise for bids for the replacement of the highway garage building's roofs as attached here within, in the Poughkeepsie Journal, on the bulletin board of the town clerk's office, and on the homepage of the town of Beekman website. I'll second. Town board discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote. Councilman Battellini? Aye. Councilman Lemack? Aye. Councilwoman Warman? Aye. And Supervisor Cabucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Whereas the town engineer has reviewed the following change orders submitted by OCS Industries, Inc., dated May 12, 2023, regarding transition of guardrails to the Maybe Bridge. The original approved contract total, July 28, 2022, $711,491. Change order number one, July 29, 2022, $387.61. Change order number two, May 13, 2023, $18,564.20. New contract total, $730,442.81, whereas the town engineer has recommended the town approve change order number two as attached. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the town board of the town of Beekman approves change order number two, the Gardner Hollow Bridge project, at a cost of $18,564.20 and be it further resolved that the supervisor of the town of Beekman is hereby authorized to sign any and all documents giving effect to this resolution, including but not limited to the request requisite change order. I'll yes, second. Town board discussion. Yes, Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Battellini? Aye. Councilman Lemek? <coughs> Aye. Councilwoman Warman? Aye. Supervisor Gabucci? <coughs> Aye. Resolution passes. Thank you. Resolution number seven, whereas the bookkeeper has audited and approved claims pursuant to the section 119 of town law as set forth in the attached abstracts, be it resolved that the payment therefore is hereby authorized as follows. Claims to be paid from A general fund, $39,840.03. Claims to be paid from the DA highway fund, $8,272. Claims to be paid from the SS Dover Ridge sewer fund, uh, $2,614.65. Claims to be paid from the T-Trust Fund, $3,961. Claims to be paid from the H Capital Fund, $57,411.04, giving us a total of $112,098.72. Uh, for 5-11-2023, payroll number 10, the general fund was $34,302.90. The highway fund was $21,662.14, giving us a total of $55,965.04. I'll second. Town board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Benalini? <coughs> Aye. Councilman Lemack? Aye. Councilwoman Warman? Aye. Supervisor Cavucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Okay. A couple announcements. The next regular town board meeting is going to be Wednesday. June 7th at 7 p.m. The public hearing for short-term rental will be at 7 p.m. The public hearing for um, Chapter 80 uh, public and private fireworks display will be at 7:15. Any board members have any? Yeah, I got something. Great. 
Um, National Police Week is May 14th to the 20th of 2023. It's observed during the week in which May 15th falls. Uh, this tradition began in 1962 by President Kennedy to encourage police personnel safety and pay special recognition to law enforcement officers who lost their lives in the line of duty. Thank you, and I'd like to thank all of the um, officers who go out every day, and I'd also like to personally thank their families um, who um, sit home waiting for them to come home, and um, we appreciate that the service that both the officer and his families um, serve for the community's um, health and safety. Anybody else? Yes, I have a couple of memos from the county. Great. County to offer free rabies clinics on, clinic on Sunday, June 4th. The Dutchess County Department of Behavioral and Community Health is again partnering with the Dutchess County SPCA to host a free rabies vaccine <coughs> clinic for pets on Sunday, June 4th at the Town Center Park Pavilion located at 71 Town Center Boulevard in Hopewell Junction from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Free parking is available on site. Registration is required. Walk-ins will not be accommodated. Res registration will open on Wednesday, May 17th at dsspca.org. Registrations can also be made by calling the DCSPCA at 845-452-7722, extension 425. Uh, I have another memo from the county, uh, granted temporary restraining order, barring New York City from transporting additional people to Dutchess County. Today, Dutchess County Supreme Court Judge Maria Rosa granted Dutchess County's request for a temporary restraining order barring New York City Mayor's Office and Department of Homeless, Service, homeless Services from, from transporting any additional homeless adults or minor individuals in temporary shelters in New York City to Dutchess County, including to hotels within the County of Dutchess, including but not limited to Red Roof Inn, 2349 South Road, and a Holiday Inn at 2070 South Road, both in Poughkeepsie. The order is effective immediately. The City of New York has been ordered to continue to provide and incur all reasonable expenses for any service provided to any individuals who were transported to Dutchess <coughs> County prior to today's order. New York City is required to pay for all reasonable expenses relating to each person's stay. The order also requires New York City to provide identification information to Dutchess County for any and all the individuals currently in New York City's care who are housed at the Red Roof Inn for legitimate purposes, including ensuring all of, the, of their needs are being met. This order is in effect from June 20th as the county pursues a permanent order. Until, I'm sorry, until June 20th as the county pursues a permanent order. The current status of individuals already re relocated to Dutchess County. There are 86 males currently being housed at the Red Roof Inn in the town of Poughkeepsie. 66 arrived on Sunday, including 40 who have been in Sull Sullivan County, and an additional 20 individuals were transported there Monday by New York City. <coughs> there are no individuals being housed by New York City at the Holiday Inn. And there are yeah, no individuals being housed by New York City at the Holiday Inn in Poughkeepsie, though the two hotels are under the same ownership. All these individuals are the responsibility of New York City. This responsibility includes covering all related costs, including lodging, meals, and wraparound services such as security. The Town of Poughkeepsie Police Department and the Dutchess County Sheriff's Office have enhanced patrols in the area of the Red Roof Inn to ensure the safety of all within the community. Dutchess County Department of Behavioral, Behavioral and Community Health continues to conduct inspections at the Hotel for Sanitary Code Enforcement. Thank That's you, Izzy. Thank you. We'll talk about Memorial Day in a minute. Okay. Um, I have no one signed in for public comments, so we will move on to, um, I think, Lorene has something about Memorial Day? Did yep. So I just, actually, before I go there, I just want to mention one, two other things. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. That's okay. So just to add on to what Frank said about police, um, it's also EMS week this week. So they're another group, I think, that should be recognized as well because um, they do a great job um, and a lot of them are volunteers. So I just wanted to add on to that. Um, one other thing, taxes, uh, this is the last week. Um, we're doing actually really well. We're at a 94% um, collection right now. The last day to pay is the 31st. Um, so I will be posting extended hours um, for that day as well. Um, Memorial Day Parade is actually going, um, the prep for that is going really well. Um, 
We have um, the Dutchess County Sheriff. We have the color guard from Greenhaven Prison. Um, the Beekman Fire Department is going to have a little barbecue and a demo, right? An extrication yes, demo. Yes, extrication. Um, after the parade for anybody that would like to stay. Um, so please feel free, come down, enjoy, and uh, it's going to be beautiful weather too. So. Yeah, which is nice. Yeah. That, work, so. that works out well. Great. Okay. So. Do you have a public No, it comes at the end, but the procedure is that there's a sign-up sheet in the back prior to the start of the meeting at 7 o'clock. You sign up, and then there's three minutes to speak. Um, I can, you, you can come up to the, but I just want you to know that we have rules at the back um, hanging for rules of conduct, and it's just a three minutes. Okay. So if you'd like to have your three minutes, you may have it. Sure. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm uh, Joseph Jan Grande, also known as Joey Grower, an organic outpost. I own a business in the farm market that's been here in the town of Beekman for over 25 years. Uh, I just want to ask you about uh, Supervisor Mary Kuguchi, right? Um, how long have you been our town supervisor? Okay, it's, this isn't really a question and answer. You make your comments. Okay, well, have you ever been to my farm market, Joey Grower? Again, that's a second question. They're not, if you read the rules of conduct, you don't um, single out any one person. It's your time to make your comments. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm just trying to let you know, I'm trying to conduct a business in town. I'm being unreasonably restrictive, and I have a cease and desist order, and I'd like to know when it's going to be lifted, because it's unfair, it's unreasonable, and I've reached out to our county executive and our county <coughs> legislator, and I'd like to reach out to you because nothing's being done about it. I'm being harassed by town personnel, on social media, and physically on my farm up until yesterday, and it needs to stop. I cannot function my farm with town officials harassing me. Okay, I, I'm going to um, make one comment that our officials do not go out and harass. Well, I have something that proves to differ. Okay. Thank you. With that, um, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, okay, and thank you for everyone who came today and safe travels home. All right, hold on one second. Oh, wait. I just got to go and shut the.